Hi, this is Terry from Terry Johnson Creates, and I want to show you a little bit about installing TrueType fonts onto your computer to be used in your Silhouette Studio. The first thing I'm going to do is click on my text tool here on the left toolbar, and the text tiles, excuse me, the text style window opens. Now yours may look different from mine, in fact I'm pretty sure it will, because I have installed a lot of different fonts onto my computer so that I can use them in Silhouette Studio. You may have some basic ones that are installed on most computers, like these right here, but then when you come down here there's going to be some that are fancier that perhaps you don't have, like Candy Cane. And one of my favorites, and I'm not sure how to pronounce this, brand ball or something like that but I like it so when I've selected that one I can come here into my workspace and type I'm going to type my grandson's name which is Noah and then if I hit the number one key I get this little swish thing underneath that gives it that athletic baseball kind of look if I backspace and you have a longer name, I can hit three or two or four or whatever, and it gives you a different one. And then you can, um, you have that little athletic look going on there for his name. So let me show you how you can get some of these fun true type fonts into your Silhouette Studio. The first thing we're going to do is go ahead and close out Silhouette Studio. This, because in, in order for the fonts to show up, in the Silhouette Studio, the program has to be restarted. So I'm going to close this and no, we don't need to change, save this. And I'm going to go to the Bing website. So here I'm going to type in free, oops, got to know how to type, free true type fonts. I'm going to click on that and do a search. And you're going to see that there are a lot of different sites that come up with uh, free true type fonts. Now, as we all know, there are things that can be downloaded on our computer that are kind of tricky and cause problems, so you want to go with a site that you trust. And one that I've used a lot of times is this one right here, which is Defont, True Type Fonts, which is Defont.com. Now, when I go to Defont.com, um, there are all kinds of fonts, and every time they upload new ones they show you what the recently added ones are or new ones are you know whatever but for example the one we were looking at before if I type in BRA and there it is brand ball comes up and I do a search then you're gonna see that this comes up and it's right here now what you want to do at this point is come over here to the right hand side where it says download you'll notice that this says free for personal use and there's two font files when I click on that I get the window at the bottom of my page that says I want to open it or save it I go ahead and simply open the file and a window that pops up like this is on my screen now these three files are images. So this is one, if I open that, it shows me what it's going to look like, just like that. And that's similar to what I typed on my screen. Now, but if I come down here, where they have these little true type font icons, that's the icon that represents true type fonts, and I click on that, this is the page that opens. Now you get a preview of every letter that's available in this font and you always get the sentence the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog and that's because a little bit of trivia for you here that sentence uses every letter in the alphabet so you have the opportunity to preview every letter to see if that's a font that you'd like to use and again they give you the little swashes or swishes whatever they are going on there so at this point all you have to do is say install now it's going to tell me that I already have this installed and do I want to replace it and I'm going to say no but if you um, clicked install it would give you this then when it was finished installing that window would disappear and you could close this out and it would already be installed to that magic place on your computer where all true type fonts are installed you also have a small version of this if you want to use that you can see it's a lighter text and you could install that into your computer the same way when all this is done you simply close it out and you're good to go now let's go back and let me see if I can find one that's actually not on my computer so I'm going to go back to their home page 
Oh, uh, let's see. One of the things that's really fun about this are dingbats. If you go to or let's see, let's go here to the dingbat page and there's all kinds of things that give you shapes. So let's say we wanted nature. So when I go to my dingbats page for nature, you can see all these beautiful things that are in the true type fonts. So for example, I think this one's really, really pretty. So if I click on download and I say open, it's called HFF floral, have fun with fonts floral. And so depending on the font and the author, you're going to see a variety of different things. Um, sometimes there's Word documents or instructions, uh, things like that, license agreements. And this one is set up information. But what I would do at this point is only click on the little pages that have the true type font. So for example, this one is that stencil. And you can see that these are all of the beautiful stencils that you're going to get when you install that. So I am definitely going to install it. Their outlines. It's installing that. And now it's done. I can close this window out. And let's see what these other true type fonts are here. Looks like they may just be different sizes. So I'm not going to install those because we can just size everything in our Silhouette Studio. But now that that's installed, I might open up this floral stencil word document. And then you can see here is a preview of what each letter gives you of the stencil. This is so cool. So now you have all these beautiful floral shapes in upper and lower case available to you. And you can use those in your Silhouette. And I typically save these documents by going to File, Save As, and oops, it says it's not available in a protected view, so I'm going to enable saving. So now I can save it. And I like to save it in my documents. I have a file on my in my documents called Font Instructions. So I know that when I go to this library, it's going to give me the instructions for that floral stencil. So I'm going to save that there. And we're all set. So now I can close out this window. Let's see if I can get it here. Close this out. You don't want to see that. No, that's I'm just going to minimize it. And then I'm going to close out this window. And we're going to go back and start up our um, Silhouette Studio. OK, so now I have Silhouette Studio reopened. I'm going to click on my text icon. And I'm going to come over here. And so now what we're looking for is H H, no, have fun with florals, HFF floral stencil, and there it shows up. There it is. So when I come over here now and I type a capital A, I get that pretty flower. And you're going to notice, hang on, if I enlarge this, that's a beautiful floral stencil that I could cut out of vinyl, paper, whatever I wanted. And guess what? It's all free and there's no tracing involved because it's already a cut file. Again, how do I know that? I'll come up here to our cut style window and when I click on that, you see the dark red lines and it indicates it's cut. So if this is something that you wanted, you would be all ready to cut it. And it'd be helpful to keep open that um, text document so you'd know which flowers were available with each letter but it's also just fun to play so for example if I want to type in a T I don't know what it's kind of little so I'm gonna make it big it looks like it's a Xenia so this is so cool that you can get all these free files and that Silhouette Studio simply opens them up as a true type font and ready to cut now let me just give you a little warning about fonts when you go to these websites, and like I said, be sure it's one that you trust, and defont.com is one that I'm comfortable with, you could go nuts and start downloading and downloading and downloading. Well, that's just, I mean, I understand because they're all so pretty, but you get to where your whole, um, it clogs up your computer, and you have a million over here to scroll through, and you're going to find that you go to the same ones over and over, and you can't figure out which one you want to use because it's all, you know, there's just so many. So I just would warn you to be a little judicious in how you um, download fonts. But I'm going to tell you, this is when I'm glad I downloaded 
Now the last thing I want to show you, kind of tricky, I closed out Silhouette and came into here. I'm just in Windows Explorer and I've opened up my computer, my C drive, and under the Windows folder, I come down here and there are fonts. See again, here's that little true type font icon. So when I click on that, it's going to give you a little preview of all the fonts that you have installed in your computer. So you could take a screen capture of this page and paste it into that um, font folder that I told you about, excuse me, the font, you know, the instructions so you'd have an idea of what you have in your computer. And also, if you need to transfer between computers, so for example, if I've downloaded this to my desktop, they're not going to all be on my laptop. So I can go back here and I can copy this font folder and send it to a USB stick, take it to my laptop, and install all of those fonts onto my laptop as well. So I have them both. So anyway, this is just a little tutorial on how to work with TrueType fonts in Silhouette Studio. Enjoy!